everybody. I'm Emily. And I'm Josh. We're here with another video. Second one. Woo! Very exciting mm -hmm. for our two viewers. So, there. today, what we're going to do is we decided to have a cute little date today. We're going to write notes about our favorite books on these little index cards. And then we're going to go to a bookstore and put the notes in the cards for somebody to find later. Now, this is totally our idea. Totally. Totally not the internet's idea. We didn't find this somewhere a very long, we did find it a very long time ago. So I feel like, you know, I've been on the internet for like 10 years. It's ours, it's our idea now. This is mine now, right? This is, these are mine now. It's how the internet works. It's definitely how the internet works. So uh, just to be clear, we're not writing any spoilers about the books <laughs> or anything that's gonna ruin the book for the reader who picks the book up. Just a nice little message saying, hey, this is one of my favorite books. This is why. Um, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did kind of deal. So let's get to writing. Okay. All right. Cards. These are Josh's, clearly, by his very messy handwriting that you guys can't really see. And then mine. Yay! Cover our faces. Uh, <laughs> we got, you know, a bunch of texts on the back. I drew some pictures on mine, but you guys can't guess which one I'm going to go put it in. Uh, but we're going to do this after we go to the place that we're going that we were invited to by our friend that we made the other day at was... the, the Korean restaurant. We make a lot of friends. Uh, we don't know how. We just kind of talk a lot to people. I talk a lot to people. This is why we're going to be okay. <laughs> Production quality. Crap. Talking for long periods of time. Great. Rambling. Uh, rambling. Rude. Uh, but we will see you guys when we get to the store that we're going to. Yes, you is. Is you is or is you ain't my baby? Ba -dum, ba -dum. Dun, da -da -da. And that's our intro. Now, thank you for that. You're on our way to the bookstore. This feels very weird recording while driving, especially in North Carolina. We live in a small, smallish, smallish. Greensboro's pretty big. Most YouTubers, I feel like live in like LA or New York or someplace fancy or even Korea and Seoul and here we are we could live there one day and here we are in North Carolina Josh got a booger in his hand so while we were at the bookstore we decided that it was going to be too loud for us to actually record our voices um, currently me and Emily are just doing our first Voiceover! Well, first voiceover ever to kind of talk oh. about what we were doing and where we were. Um, Very exciting. Yes. And it had been, Emily said something about this just a little bit ago about how, how long it's been since either one of us had actually been inside of a real bookstore. Yeah. It's, they've changed a lot. You know, when I was a kid, bookstores like these were just mostly books and occasionally puzzles or journals or whatever and whatnot. So it's interesting to be here. And there be more than books, <laughs> like toys and pops, which I was very excited about, as you could tell. So I'm pretty sure this first book that I'm going to put my note into is Dune by Frank Herbert. It's a book series that I loved um, growing up. There's several in the series. Even his son picked up the series afterwards to continue it even further with, uh, yeah, even further. His name's Brian Herbert. Um, I'm pretty sure Emily also read this book and liked it a lot too. I did actually, but I also want to talk about my book, which was The Shining, which obviously by Stephen King, most of you have probably seen the movie or something thereof. Uh, but I was actually going for another book, but The Shining seemed more, almost more perfect than the other book I was going to pick because it's Stephen King. So, uh, 
<laughs> so cute. So, my next book is one of my actual like favorite books. I probably read it ten times, if not more. It's uh, Thunderhead by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. I highly recommend it. We're actually probably going to put all the books that we recommend in the description below. My next book was going to be The Highwayman, but I actually couldn't find it, so I stuck it in another book by R.A. Salvatore called uh, The Legend of Drips. Josh, I need to find him. I don't know where he went. Next up for me was Ender's Shadow. It's a book by Orson Scott Card that is basically a mirror of Ender's Game told from a different character's perspective. Meh. Uh, I went for Shogun, but they didn't have it, uh, which is by James Clavell. So instead I went for Noble House, which is an equally good book. Um, so I decided to put it in that one instead because it's still really good. And there's lots of fingers I've noticed in our shots, so don't mind those people. They're that just, would be you know, my we're, fault. We're great. No, mine. Were, there are a couple of mine too. I keep <laughs> shoving my finger. I'm like, that's my finger. Sorry, everybody. We're not very good at this yet. So my next book was Lion, the Witch, and Orbro by C.S. Lewis. It was all-time favorite growing up. I read it so many times over and over and over again. I couldn't get enough of it. I think it was just a fun story. Lots of fantasy. Yeah. Lots of cool creatures. I liked it too. It was kind of sad, but it was still really good. Um, I think I just really liked all the talking yeah. animals and trees and fawns and weird things. Next up for me, I went with my favorite Stephen King series, which is the Dark Tower series. Uh, we're going to go straight for my favorite book in the series called Wizard in Glass, which jumps back and tells a prequel tale to Roland Deschain, the gunslinger, who is one of my all-time favorite characters. Of course it is. Also very <laughs> sad. A lot of Stephen King is sad. Like... Is there really a happy Stephen King book? If somebody knows a happy Stephen King book, put let us a, know. Yeah, yeah. Please put it in the comments down below. We only have two left, which they're both the same, sort of the same, same author, J.K. Same Rowling. Same series. Yeah, same series. I picked The Goblet of Fire because it's my personal favorite. And I picked The Order of the Phoenix because it is the best book in the series. No, it's not. The Goblet of Fire is way better. I think that Order of the Phoenix is longer and builds a lot more character development he was so, for he was such a 15 year old everybody in that book. other than Harry. So, um, we're recording this... A week? A week? Has <laughs> it really been a week since yeah, we, we went, went on, on that date? Oh we my went goodness. on Sunday of last week on It was last Sunday, date. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We had a really good time at the bookstore, finding all the different books that we've loved to read over the years and putting little notes in them. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided to do a little outro after the fact. But we have fun, it's all that really matters. Uh, we hope you guys like the video. This will be our first ever voiceover. And it's our second video. It's our second video, first ever voiceover. 
we hope you like the voiceover. Let us know your thoughts if you just like it. Because we might do some more things that are more voiceover. You know, we do more traveling things or hiking. Especially there, hiking. I'm looking forward to the hiking. Yeah, there's going to be a lot less of us being able to talk as much if there's a lot of people. You know, some are here in North Carolina. It can get pretty busy on the hiking trails. Um, we also might have our dog or the five-year-old who might be in a couple of our videos. She, uh, she might be doing a promotional video for us soon. I think she's already done one. But she did say that she was, she's a, she said, I'm a teenager. Uh, I'm almost a teenager. I'm almost six. And I was just like, mm -hmm, yep, you are almost a teenager. <laughs> I just, nod and smile. Nod and smile, kid, nod and smile. Yep. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever he says, because he's way better at it. Go ahead. If you enjoyed what you saw today, like, subscribe, and comment down at the bottom. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.